Hey, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. This is your friend Sachin Rakhra, and welcome to our channel, Router and Switches Concepts. If you had not subscribed our channel, please hit subscribe button and click the notification bell icon with all. So our next topic is how to create uh, the configuration for switch port. And we'll, we'll see in our lab. So it is, it is similar to Cisco. So we'll see how we can do that. Let's jump into our lab. Okay, so we'll, we'll choose the port number 10 or whatever we want actually. We, we created a VLAN for 10, so I'm, I'm choosing port number 10. Okay, so how we, will, how we can configure the port uh, for switch port. So we have to go into interface, show interface. Okay, still we are in VLAN, so we have to exit this. Ethernet one by one by 10. Okay, so first of all, we can no shut that interface. Okay, so by putting no, sh no shut, it will be in admin, uh, not admin shutdown port actually. Okay, so if you want to create if you want to create a uh, uh, layer 3 port you have to give no switch port if you want to create a layer 2 port so in that case you have to give switch port access switch port switch port mode access sorry same command as cisco okay switch port mode access uh, whatever vlan you want to specify okay so likewise switch port access vlan 10 okay so in our cases we have only vlan 10 which we are uh, which we had configured so if you want to see whether this port is basically a part of vlan 10 or not so show show vlan we have right okay so show vlan it says inactive but this port is basically assigned to uh, vlan number 10 Okay, so how the configuration looks like on the interface? Show run interface, Ethernet one by one by ten. Okay, so the configuration looks like this. So if you if you want to if you want to convert that port into a uh, trunk, then you have to give switch port mode trunk command. Okay, and uh, which which all VLANs you want to add, switch port, trunk, VLAN, allowed, VLAN, and you can specify the number. In our cases, it is only one VLAN, so I'm along, allowing that VLAN on that, okay? So it says interface cannot be access port mode, uh, access and trunk member on the same time. One of the VLAN on the, in this range provided is already access access vlan okay so let's see see the configuration on the interface what it says because it says that we have already assigned a vlan on as an access port so what we have to do we have to do no switch port okay no uh, okay so this is how we we can remove that interface from from a access uh, layer. Okay, so show run interface Ethernet one by one by ten. So now it is trunk. Okay, so now we will allow allow the VLAN trunk, uh, ten on the trunk. Okay, switch port trunk allow VLAN ten. Okay, so let's see how it looks like after the configuration. Okay, it looks like that we had allow the VLAN 10. So, so in, in this case, this, this port will act as a layer two, but as a trunk port, okay? Whereas on this type of configuration, obviously it is, this mode is not activated because there is a still Still, uh, the one one of the VLAN is basically mentioned as a trunk access port. 
configuration so it is not allowed actually so it it will consider as a access port whereas on this it will consider as a trunk port okay let's see what else we have on the today's topic okay so what is the next topic okay so next topic is basically we have next topic is basically the port channel okay so you you guys know let me grab my pen okay so you know that if we are running with two switches which is which have multiple ports obviously spanning tree will block one of the port because of loop avoid loop avoidance tool so to avoid that thing there is another concept called port channel what we do in this we basically bundle these two ports into a single virtual interface which we call port channel so that the spanning tree will 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 see as a single link single link between both the switches and it will not block block any of the port okay so we'll see how we can configure how we can configure the uh, port channel in in our scenario in uh, in os10 environments okay let me clean this so that we can we'll see a clear picture of uh, switches okay let me let me jump into my uh, lab okay so how we will do the configuration on port channel it's again pretty simple similar to similar to our access port configuration so what we will do we will first of all we will exit from this and we will create a port channel okay so what number we will be using we will be using 10 okay so same thing what we have to do first of all we'll we'll no shut the interface okay so we'll we'll do the no shut on the interfaces and now what type of interface you want uh want on this port channel whether it is a trunk or access so let's go with access port actually so same configuration actually switch port mode access switch port uh access uh vlan 10 okay and what you have to do so we have to assign some port on this particular port channel so we'll we'll use the same interface which is interface 1 by 1 by 10 okay so interface ethernet 1 by 1 by 10 okay so in this case our current configuration is basically is for access port or oh sorry trunk port we have to wipe that first okay otherwise it will not allow us to do any configuration on this this port should be a, a default mode okay so what we will do we will remove the trunk configuration okay so we'll remove this We'll remove this and we will remove switch port VLAN allowed VLAN. Okay. Okay. So now the configuration looks like this. Show sure, an interface Ethernet one by one by ten. Okay. So it gives you the plain configuration or default configuration. Now we'll we'll configure the port. uh this port under the port channel 10 okay so same thing no shit is already there so we need not to worry about that so what else we have to do we have to add that so how we add that this port into a port channel so we have to type channel cook okay what what was the number of port channel it was 10 okay if you if you remember where is the port channel configuration okay so this is the port channel number 10 okay so we use the port channel number 10 okay what we have to do we have to activate the mode okay there are two there are three three modes one is passive on and active active again who will initiate the who will initiate the traffic actually okay and uh, on is basically so we use on static uh, uh, static configuration where we where we defined uh, de uh, where we define the port channel under under the interface okay but in this in this case we can configure only two things 
one is passive or another is active okay but right now i will go with active okay so passive is nothing passive will not initiate a traffic it will it will wait for another end to initiate the traffic and so that they can negotiate that interface type or uh, post channel type okay so what else we want we want we want that it this thing should be uh, that should be what we are going to we will be okay so what is the port channel interface so port channel interface is a vlan okay so it will automatically take that thing from port channel to this interface we need not to we need not to verify or uh, uh, provide that information that this particular port is a part of vlan 10 whatever whatever configuration basic configuration is applied on port channel it will apply automatically to the interface okay so so if we do show vlan so this says port channel 10 is basically part of vlan 10 okay if you do show interface port channel 10 brief so okay do show for channel summary so it will say right now it is down but it is showing that it is it is considered uh, that port 10 under that port channel what type of what type of mode or what type of configuration on it it is basically a layer to mode okay status is down up line is 000, 000 okay so we'll we'll convert that port channel port channel into port channel into trunk okay and see what is the status so interface port channel 10 uh, what we have to do we have to remove this thing actually we have to remove from access mode okay okay so Okay, no switch mode access. Okay, so sometimes these commands are commands are a little fussy in this. It it does not work properly. Okay, so so now if we remove, it will allow us to do that. It should. Okay, so 10 was not required. Okay. So now what we will do, we'll we'll convert this thing into uh trunk port. Okay, what we have to do, switch port mode trunk and then uh switch port trunk allowed VLAN 10. Show run interface for channel 10 it will show you that this particular thing is is allowed on uh, port channel 10 and it will consider as a trunk port just ignore this access port a uh, switch port access vlan 10 okay so it will be helpful for you let me know how you how you rate this video and and give me a comment if you need anything anything on on os 10 or os 9 I'm, I'm planning to prepare a os 9 similar video so that you can you can get benefit of of uh, these videos okay hope this video is informative to you and it will help you to learn your networking skills if you had not already subscribed our channel please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for all the notification of our new videos thank you